Hey everyone, it's Justine and I'm excited because the brand new My Favorite Things release is now available and I'm showing off a couple of the new products. This is the Basic Shapes Circle Stencil. It's a really great versatile stencil for creating backgrounds or whenever you need that perfect circle. So I'm going to be using that today and I'm going to get started by adding a bunch of purple tape to fix it in place as well as to mask off the circles I don't want to be inked up the very first time. I'm going to create circles going going all the way up my card in a variety of colors using my Distress Oxide inks. So I've masked off the area that I want to work with and I'm going to be working with a few different colors. I decided to work with Carved Pumpkin and Squeezed Lemonade for one of the circles and then for my second circle I am going to work with two additional colors. Now I'm going to be using colors that of course don't blend together to make brown. So I'm going to use pink and purple here. So you need colors that are going to coordinate well together and any colors or circles that you're going to end up overlapping, you need to make sure that those colors aren't going to mix to make brown. You could always test them on a sheet of paper off to the side if you're unsure. So I now have this squeezed lemonade, carved pumpkin, picked raspberry, wilted violet, and I went in with some peacock feathers and I decided just that single color for that small one would be fine. I lifted up all of the masking tape here and now I'm just going to readjust my stencil so that some of the circles overlap each other and I'm going to go up and continue on for the rest of the card. So I'm just masked off those top three circles there. That's where I want to work most. I'm going to add some peacock feathers as well as some twisted citron. I thought that would be a fun color to add because these are party themed cards. So I do want them to be very vibrant and fun. And then I'm just going to finish off the last two here. And you're going to see that some of the circles even overlap with previous ones. You can really make so many different fun design patterns for your backgrounds by layering circles on top of circles or just going along with the stencil as is even or just adding a circle here and there and it's just one of those stencils that is a staple in your craft room and it's just really great to work with. Okay, so I'm going to be working with these margarita dies as well as the martini shaker dies. And these are new from MFT. And you can see that they come with the frame of the glass as well as the inside if you wanted to cut that out in cardstock very simply. There are also some really cool shaker pouches that go inside. So you could have a shaker card and have the shaker shape already done for you in this plastic piece. So once I cut that out with my Gemini Junior, I can go ahead and I can place the shaker pouch on the inside here. And it's not very thick at all, just perfect for a few sequins, as well as these really cool frosty ice cubes that MFT came out with. They're just plastic pieces and they really do look like ice cubes. So they're just super fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually place this piece here over top of my background. I don't want my background to show through my shaker actually. So I'm, and it's also gonna help me with placement with the die later. So I'm just going to place everything here in the center. So I'm using some of those frosty ice cubes and I'm using some of the new jewels from Pretty Pink Posh. And I am going to just put those here in the center. And all I need to do is just gather them into the center of that white margarita glass shape and that's going to show me exactly where I need to put my shaker on top. So once I have that in place here I'm just going to go ahead with some liquid glue. I'm just going to go along the edges of the shaker pouch here and then I'm going to place it directly on top of that shape that I had cut out earlier and it's going to fit perfectly here. Just be careful that your sequins don't go underneath the pouch or it might get a little bit difficult. And your margarita glass is then going to fit directly on top and it's going to cover up those sides of the shaker. So it really doesn't matter what type of glue you use, you won't be able to see it, which is really handy. Not to mention the general ease of not having to cut out a piece of acetate in this shape and it just shakes so fun. So now I'm able to go ahead now and I'm going to add one of the sentiments. So MFT also created a coordinating sentiment and this is called Spirited Sentiments and it has a whole bunch of really cute sayings on it like may your spirits be spiked, there are, or take your birthday with a grain of salt and a wedge of lime, you're just a teeny bit older, forget that birthday cake, lots of really cute sentiments and I'm just going to place it actually directly on here. So I'm making sure to use my Misty Stamping Tool and the reason why is that because I'm stamping on the edges of the martini glass, it might be a little bit hard along the edges. So by adding the 
Misty, I can stamp it multiple times to make sure that those edges don't play a role at all in stamping my sentiment. So to finish off my card, I'm just adding some Tombow Mono liquid to the back of that panel. I'm going to attach it to an A2 size card base, 110 pound Nina Solar White. The panel that I had worked with originally was 4 by 5 and a quarter and was 80 pound Nina Solar White. And so it just shakes. The fun little ice cubes really add a little bit of fun dimension to it. And I love the way those vibrant jewels from Pretty Pink Posh make the drink look. Now to make a second card here, I'm going to be using the Martini Glass this time. And I am using the die to help me with my placement of two of these really fun Martini stamps. Um, this is called Martini Time. And there are several different martinis with some really fun typography. And I love the little names on the drinks as well as on the lime wedge and everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pick those up with my Misty Stamping Tool. I am going to be inking them up according to their drink names. So Lemon Drop, obviously, is probably going to be a yellow drink. Martini can kind of just play it by ear. There's lots of different types of martinis. So I decided to go with a fun celebration color. I'm using Peacock Feathers, um, which gives it this blue color. And stamping in Distress Oxides works really, really well. And I'm going to go ahead and just run this through my die cutting machine. This is the Martini Shaker die this time. You can see that I stamped on the background. I don't like to waste paper. I always like to try and reuse it when I'm done. And I also die cut it in black. I didn't like the way the black turned out though, so I did end up switching it to white. I'm not sure in the end if that was the best choice, but it was the choice at the time. So you can see that there's also shaker pouches in this triangular shape for the martini, which again makes shaker cards just so much fun. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some Tombow Mono liquid adhesive here, and I'm going to attach this to my card base so I can start making my shaker. So I already have the lemon drop as well as the martini glass on there, and I have everything ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead again, add some sequins and some fun things to my martini glass here. You could go ahead and add those frosty ice cubes again if you like. And so I was just adding some of these really pretty pink mixture of sequins. And then you can add again your shaker pouch on top and you, are, you can just glue everything down. So I now have my shaker pouch already there and I'm grabbing my white martini glass this time and I'm just going to lay it on top to create that frame. And what I really liked about this card is because I used a scrap sheet of paper that was actually stamped in the back, you can see a very subtle dot pattern on the back of this card that you can't really see in the photos, but in real life you can see it, which is kind of neat. It's also a background stamp available this month from MFT. So it's all ready to go. It shakes beautifully. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a sentiment just like I did onto the first card. This is from the Martini Time again, or the, sorry, the Spirited Sentiments is what it was. And uh, it... This time it just uh, simply says uh, just a teeny bit older, which is super cute for a birthday card, I think, for one of the girls. And I'm really excited about the way that it turned out. So I really have been enjoying these fun little shaker pouches, all the little accessories you can get for them. It's just a really great set to have.